the thing that jumps out to me and the reason I, I think the walkout part is insulting to me rather than just standing there proudly because I'm someone that holds my hand on yeah. my heart as well is there are countries where you can be killed for this. When you think of some of the Russia, Saudi Arabia, when you dissent against your government. North Korea. You risk yeah. death. And when I think of that, I think of we're fighting to be different from them. And my parents, um, uh, my dad fought in Vietnam, my mom's a vet as well. And I stand proudly for that reason, but my mom and dad never um, were slaves. They never, were, they never had to drink at a different water fountain. They never had to. So when I look back, I have to walk in someone else's shoes and say this song, song means something different to them. Because I stand right. and I think yeah. of my parents. Those people are kneeling because of their parents. You know, I, that's what resonates with me. I think, yes, there are a great lot of, I think there's a divide that we've seen over and over with Republicans. There are a lot of people that have conservative ideals that say, at what point am I giving up my humanity yeah, and for we'll this? Give up because power. The fact right. they, no, but, right. but there is. So, I'm sorry. Let me say. No, let me say something. Let me finish. No, let me finish because that talk huh? that what I was just saying about Walmart I'm just people trying to say. Well, I need the power. Once I'm going to go to break. I'm going to give you the last word. That's go why ahead. we needed the bell. We don't need the bell. Shut up with the bell. I don't oh. understand. Stop it with the bell. Go ahead. Megan. I don't understand why we're not trying to understand. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. And no one was listening to me because yeah. my parents happen to be conservatives yeah. Yeah. and they probably voted for Trump. So okay. I too have a connection to this. My yeah. point was that there's a divide. Not all conservatives <laughs> agree with Trump. Sadly, they have to give up on things they did care about, like Supreme Court justices and other things because right. he has undermined the party. Yes. Are they complicit? Well, yeah, that's the problem. I'm not fully in right not um, Last month that he sees worrying signs at the FCC pointing to Twitter messages in which people regularly demand that the FCC yank license from cable news channels because they disagree with the opinions expressed on those networks. And then he goes on to say, listen, these demands are at odds with our legal and cultural traditions. So it's never going to happen. What happened to yeah. just having conversations rather than shutting down someone that disagrees with you? Yeah. Well, like, that's, that's not winning. That's about, quitting. Yeah, it but, is quitting. Yeah. What scares me about the base, though, is like the story he was specifically talking about had three sources. They happen to be anonymous. But mm -hmm. in media, in journalism, you have to multi-source your story. So even if it's anonymous, you do have to get it checked multiple times. Right. When he tweets, he doesn't have to check it with anyone. So he goes to his base, who he said, don't trust the media, don't check anywhere else because they're lying to you. But right here, I'm telling you the truth. And then he speaks with misinformation but the, about this. So, so I think that's dangerous. But the annoying thing for me CNN is that... CNN had to fire some that, of the journalists for misreporting and not checking. Excuse but they me, did fire him. He's still president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. There's no Thank way to you. regulate that. <laughs> My job here is to try and explain what's going on. <laughs> My job here is to try and explain what's going on. No. Mayim Bialik, Bial Bial yeah. sorry, yeah. Yeah. also defended an op-ed she wrote about <laughs> combating sexual harassment, claiming she dresses modestly and doesn't act flirtatiously with men, and oh. that in a perfect world, women should be free to act however they want. But uh, we can't be naive about the culture we live in. Yeah. And now people are accusing her of victim blaming, or is she just mildly ignorant? I think it's, I, I I think it's ignorant because I, I do like a lot of what she writes, and I do believe she did not intentionally mean to shame victims. But this is the part of the narrative that's so dangerous, perpetuating that abuse is about beauty, about uh, se uh, sexual intimacy, about the, sex at all, you, what you dress, dress. Yeah, about any of that. Yeah. It, it has nothing to do with looks. Assault and predatory behavior make no discrimination. They exactly. will come after them. The only thing these people, victims have in common is a powerlessness yeah. in the situation. Exactly, And it Sarah. doesn't matter That's what true. you look like. Two things yeah. that jump out at me are, there's a contradiction of arguments. Either they're stealing American jobs or they're uneducated. You can't have both arguments. Right. Skills. Or unskilled. Right. Uh, but in this particular instance, they hone in on education and language. To me, this sim oversimplifies someone's values that they bring to the workforce, including like work ethic. In this study that I found, because I thought mm -hmm. I'd much rather have someone that wasn't educated, or have as much education, mm -hmm. however you want to word it, mm -hmm. but is a hard worker. And in a study that uh, was 10 decades of labor statistics, immigrants, this is a quote, immigrants are judged to have a better work ethic, work harder, more diligent, punctual, persistent, reliable, respectful, and cooperative. I'll but take any of those skills over a degree any day. Well, well this is a lot of that, yeah. that, um, Still yeah. hasn't been uh, any word, really, mostly silence from the White House regarding aide Kelly Sadler's comment about Senator John McCain. 
Uh, here's all the press secretary Sanders would say when she was asked about it on Friday. I'm not going to comment on an internal uh, staff meeting. The president, as I as I mentioned just a moment ago, uh, supports all Americans. If you look at what he's doing every single day, he's showing up to work. He's working hard to make this country better. Uh, ACU's Chief Matt Schlapp, who's married to White House Strategic Communications Director Mercedes Schlapp, even tried to make this pivot in the morning. Check this out. Kelly is my friend, and I feel bad that she's going through this. She showed character to immediately call to apologize, but she's also a little bit of a victim here. But my view is that a confidential meeting, and I've been in a lot of them, so is Bill inside the White House. Once you start commenting about leaks out of those meetings, you will never be able to appropriately run your agenda, and you shouldn't comment on it. Well, and, and Matt Schlapp said that, yeah. and I, I, we need to call him out because he is supposed to be, he's a Notre Dame Catholic, he graduated from my alma mater, I spent a lot of time with him at the White House Correspondents Weekend, and he and his wife walked out of Michelle Wolf's set because they were so freaking offended. Oh. Well, if you were so offended by that, Matt Schlapp and your wife, why are you not offended Thank by you. what ha That's what right. said? Well, well done. Why are you not offended by that? But Disgusting. Left the White House dinner because they were so offended and then jumped to the after party immediately. Ever. They weren't yeah. that offended. Yeah. Going to the after party. So. They were hurry to get to the party. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they right. did. Well, the victimization that they're talking about, I feel like they should not be ashamed people found out. They should be ashamed they that said it, it in the first right. place. Yeah. That's yeah. misplacing the like, Right before we went on air, uh, the Supreme Court sided with Colorado baker Jack Phillips, who refused to bake a cake for a gay couple, citing religious objections and artistic freedom. I found him, he was a very uh, yeah. lovely man and very rooted in his beliefs. I, I disagree with this yeah. because I, one, I, I just disagree on its face. Um, mm -hmm. I love the gays. <laughs> but um, <laughs> two, I think it's also a slippery slope because I think when you start allowing people certain freedoms based on almost the discrimination of someone else, yeah. even if it's just the wedding cake, yeah. mm -hmm. where do we stop? Like, What's interesting, what if you're a chef in a, in a restaurant and you just don't want to serve gay people because your hamburgers are very creative or your mm -hmm. uh, paella is very yeah. special. Can you then use yeah. this as a precedent? I think, it, I think it's less artistic expression, the way yeah. I'm reading yeah. it, than religious. religious. I'm nervous of even sending a plate back what they're going to do to my food. <laughs> <laughs> Someone doesn't want to bake me a cake or power right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just find, I think we're, we're all pro-life, what you say here all the time, yeah. and I feel like so often when this conversation comes up, we forget about moms because that's a life involved with this choice as well. Mm -hmm. And also with the board I always find it funny that people are really up in my uterus, but when it comes to a baby that's already alive and out there, yeah, they, they don't yeah. fight. Right. Um, this Pride Month Doesn't right Trump now. Does Trump love them though? He was there hanging out with the. Oh no, but, Trump does not with the love. Prince. Well, he was in Saudi Arabia. Oh, I thought you meant uh, gay people. But, no, 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 Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Doesn't well, he love the Saudis? But I do think we have a broken system that needs to be fixed. I just think how we fix it is a reflection of our <laughs> own humanity. And right now, sitting here, it's one of the times I felt privilege more than ever. And this form of privilege is where I was born. Mm -hmm. Because I'm lucky I'm not in a place that's war-torn or, mm -hmm. or suffered natural right. disasters, drugs, cartels, corruptions. You name anything that drives someone out of a country, and I can sit here being being lucky that it's not my but, kid. But yeah. the reason I want to say that is there was a quote on Instagram that really hit me. And I think this is the part where people are focusing so much on the law and how we can't have people coming in illegally, which we can all agree on. But the way we're handling it right now is so scary because this quote is, no one puts their children in a boat unless the water is safer than the land. And I don't think people are there focusing on enough right now on when you take that into consideration that this is someone's best option. It's not a, necessarily a bad parent. It's mm -hmm. their best option. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't disagree with that. I mean, yeah. everything you're saying, but I will say that. One of our attorneys is a Jew. <laughs> I like that she goes, is a Jew. I have, a Jew. I have a black friend in case we're counting. <laughs> like, yeah. I can sense that. that. Well, right. they... uh, so he's <laughs> always promised his supporters to put America first. <clears throat> yeah, well. What's happening with that? Do you remember how angry he got when people kneeled and he said, kick those sons of out of the game? Yes, he did. He is talking 
to someone who is against everything we stand for in this country, and I've never seen a more weaselly answer than I don't, I don't know why it would be Russia. Yeah. Like, it's the most passive Maybe he should be response. kicked out the game. Yeah. Like, it's the one time we've seen him get angry in the contrast with someone you should be angry at. And he's not. And nothing. Because the problem for me as a user of both Facebook and just a citizen of this country is I should be aware if when I'm clicking on things, you're stealing my information. That's something that yes. should be disclosed in big print. So I'm a little frustrated because that, now if you are one of those people that says, I'm just going to quit Facebook, the process to quit mm -hmm. Facebook, there's a deactivation and a deletion. There's a waiting period of two weeks. That's longer than some states to buy a gun. <laughs> I think the woman respects. had it right. When you have to ask yourself if this is a choice you're making, you, yeah. should, you know the answer. Yeah, but yeah. if you're so madly in love, with someone, it's hard to make that you can choice. Fall, you're madly in love with a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> so, no soulmate? Happy birthday to you. Oh, stop it.